I found a gold mine. Look at all <laughs> these metal uh, gold pans. Hello and welcome. Thank you for watching. I'm Wes. This is Tom. This is the Hippie Explorer. We travel around New England looking for gold and exploring. And today we are at the cabin. This cabin here on the river. And we just got up. It was uh, not too cold last night. It was nice in there. It's still drizzly and raining. And we might go out for breakfast, but before we do anything, we have to start our beans. You might have heard a rumor from last week that we're making beans. And I don't get to make beans much because I need a crock pot. But we're making them today. So I got to put them on because they got to cook all day. Let's go. The beans soaked all night. And we're going to add about a quarter cup of ketchup. That's about it. And we're going to add about a quarter cup of honey. About like that. Some salt. Salt. There's a pound of beans in there, and we're putting a pound of bacon. You can use salt pork as well. We put an onion in this too, but I'm missing it. We forgot it. So when we go out today, we're going to grab an onion. I'm going to mix this all up here. We're going to let it go. The beans are on. And uh, we're going to go into Littleton and get a breakfast. But we better check with the hip B, see what the weather is going to be like. Hey, all you groovy dudes and you slap happy hippies. This is hip B. And I'm here to give you the weather. Let's go. It looks a little overcast, but it's not snowing. And it's a little cool and it's going to get colder. So I'm going to stay here inside with the beans and keep a close eye on them. Doodle Here in Littleton, went to the Littleton Diner. What do you got over there? Hash, eggs. Ooh, looks good. Oh, look at that. Let me show you what I got. There you have it. Right there. And we're sitting here next to the river. So we're going to eat our breakfast and then we may go over and visit with the Northeast Prospector over here in Littleton if uh, he's in today we didn't tell him we're coming we're gonna surprise him and uh, we gotta get an onion while we're here in Littleton and some more firewood then we're going back to the camp and uh, we'll take it from there let's do it <laughs>
Do you know how long this store has been in Littleton? Uh, they opened uh, 1920 with a wow. food stand. So. I know it's always been here, so <laughs> it's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, it was a dirt, uh, this was like the dirt fruit stand and then the, the mm. apartments and the store built yeah. around it. So. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Have a great weekend. Same family too. Awesome. <laughs> That's what you heard is a ribbit. Ribbit, ribbit. Look who it is. We surprised you. We were shopping at your mom's store. We stopped into the Northeast Prospector. Ayla is here. Nick is uh, away in Arizona. Nick is in Tucson. He's uh, doing some gem shopping. And... He is at the big Tucson gem show. Oh, the yes. Tucson gem show. Yes. So what do you got that's new? Can you show us? Oh, we have, what do we have that's Let's new? take a look. These are fluorites from the Diana Maria mine in England. Wow, they're so pretty. These fluorites will actually change color if you bring them outside, just from the, the UV rays of the sun. What are they, like different shades of green? Yeah, they'll actually mm. turn blue. Blue? The, the cubes uh -huh. will turn on, uh, take a blue hue. Yeah. So we could even, even though it's cloudy, we could probably try to get a clip of that outside now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Take a look. Let's see what happens. Oh yeah, I do see the see difference. See all that blue color? I don't yeah. know if it will pick it up on the camera. But I do see a difference from inside. That you pick well, the darker blues. And exactly, the... the blues all come out. And that will happen with the black light, but just from the rays of the sun, even coming through the clouds, you can yeah. see all of that blue color coming out. That's great. Pretty wild. Huh. Yeah. This is for you guys too, a few of our new post cards. Cool. And this, we're going to tell our viewers that we're leaving these with you. These are autographed post cards. So that it'll help attract our viewers if they're in the street. That's what it's all about, networking. These you know? postcards that me and Tom signed are going to be here at the Northeast Prospect. And we're going to leave them a stack like this. And uh, if you want one, come on up here to Littleton to the Northeast Prospect and pick one up. They're free. Right on Main Street, 38 Main Street, next to Alakai and State Farm. Right on. I found a gold mine. <laughs> Look at all these metal uh, gold pans. Now, you said these were rescued from a warehouse? A friend of ours, yeah. We wow. We had to clean out a warehouse, and they had been uh, stashed away, and the warehouse had flooded a few times, so they are a little rusty. Uh, but wow. they couldn't bear to see them go in the trash. 
The rust is great. That's what makes them look beautiful. <laughs> That's amazing. I want that one. Call before you come to get any of these because they may be all gone. <laughs> Just call to make sure they're still here. We got our pans. It was nice seeing you. Have a great day. Bye-bye. <laughs> Found some great metal pans. Not that easy to find. They are really These big. were found in a warehouse out in Arizona. And he brought them back here to Littleton. So that's fantastic. We're going to uh, head back over to the cabin. We'll take a closer look at these. Look at this great new hat, huh? Got that up at uh, Ayla Kai's broom closet. A lot of great stuff in there. Now that's a hippie shop. Right next door to the Northeast Prospector. Let's take a look at the river. Now we were prospecting in here. Actually right up in here, right under the snow in here. Right next to that rock and over in there but it's all iced over here. And out there where it's free, it's like four or five feet deep. So I don't think I'll be prospecting in here. found some great metal gold pans up at the Northeast Prospector. These are awesome. I've been looking for a gold, a metal pan, and these are older, these aren't new. These are, I'd say they must be 20 years old. Yeah, they've been around a little while. We found them in a warehouse in Arizona. They're S-Wing. Let me show you. S-Wing. That's a number two. And then, oh, that's a 12. That's a 12 for a 12 inch, 12 -inch pan. pan. That's a 14 inch pan. And that's a 16. Inch but what a pan. find for a prospector. And there's a little bit of rust. Some of them have more rust, like that one. And we're going to. This one here, I'm going to coat, the, I'm going to actually season this one here. And these, I'm just going to coat. I'm going to put a real thin coat of vegetable oil on these pans that I'm not going to season to protect them. And I got some uh, fine sandpaper to take off this rust and I'm going to season this we're going to show you how and we have to build a fire to do that so we got some wood we're going to do it okay here's the pan this is the rustiest one of all of them that's why i'm going to season this one and I got a little scrubby pad, real fine. And I'm gonna go over and sand off that rust. Hello. Um, 
I want to mention something in this video. I'm going to show you the three. This is one pan that was seasoned just to not rust. Um, we put oil on it, heated and burnt the oil off, but not too hot, so it discolors the pan. Uh, we're going to show you that in the future, or in this episode, where uh, it colors the pan like a golden brown, and we burn off the oils, and we're going to see how that one rusts. A second way is we didn't use any oil and just heated the pan, but not too hot. This is to keep it, prevent it from still allowing it to rust, uh, but rust evenly. And this is heated um, to burn off all of the oils. And we're gonna use that that way and see how that one works. See how it does over time and how it rusts and how the patina is. And the last way is like you see a lot of prospectors do, and they just throw it on the fire and make it black so it turns, uh, like a almost like a purple get it real hot and this is the one that we did that and we're going to show you that in the future and we're going to see how they uh, i don't know how they're all going to end up and if they're going to be different but it's a great way to see how they rust and how they wear and whether it rusts evenly or it doesn't rust at all and which one you can see the better gold better on now the black one I'm sure you can see because it's dark you'll be able to see the gold better than this gold or colored one so uh, we may change we may end up burning this one more but I want to see once it starts rusting it's going to get darker as well so we'll see it's all an experiment now let's get back as much of the rust as I could it's real smooth and now Vegetable oil, and you can use canola oil. Just don't use like lard or butter. Or olive oil, and right? Just a touch. Hey, just a little touch. And you work that in. All around the pan. Like that. Make sure you coat the whole thing. Top in the other side too. I'm gonna put just a drop on that side as well. Just a drop. Oh, that's it. <clears throat> Almost as little as you can. The idea with seasoning metal pans is you want really thin layers. Now I know some people are probably thinking, hey, you're putting oil on that pan. That's going to make your gold float, if you don't know, and it would. But we're going to bake this off, and then it won't, and it'll keep the pan from rusting. And you're going to do it multiple times. So that's the oil's on the pan. Now we're going to put the pan on the fire and heat it up. I'm going to keep turning it. I don't want to put it directly over the fire. I want it close to it so it kind of heats. And we'll be back. I decided I decided to move the grate up and put the pan up there so it's not directly over the well, it's over the flames, but trying to reduce the soot and but yet heat the pan up. And it's getting there. Hasn't started smoking yet. I gotta add my onion. I got my onion earlier. Medium chopped onion. Gonna go right in here. was smoking but it's not smoking anymore now we're gonna buff it okay. see how it turned dark but not sooty and we're gonna buff it you wanna buff it now 
do it again. Just a little bit of oil goes a long way. You want thin layers of oil and you keep doing that. This time I'm going to put it down like that. Let that heat you can see that it's darkening. Now we want to take a dry towel and buff it once again. Hot now. See how it's changing color and getting darker? Okay. That's the color you're starting you want it to look like. I'm going to let that cool down a little bit now. Okay, I'm going to do it one last time. And I'm really going to heat it up. Just a little touch, just a drop, okay? Just a drop, all you need. You don't want to put too much because that can mess things up. So spread that all around. This will keep it from rusting. Now that was the worst one out of all of them, right? That was the one that had all the rust on the yeah. inside? Yeah. Wow, that's amazing how it cleaned up. Yeah, it's a little stain there, but it's good enough. Wow. And we're gonna heat it up again. Okay. Yeah, she's hot. Now take it off. Give it that buffing. And you see the color has changed. We're going to compare it to the other one. Still pretty hot. <laughs> yeah, I can smell it cooking over here. Let's go compare this one to the other one. See the change in the color? It turned it a brown. Wow, what a difference. And that won't rust. This will. That's why it's coated with oil. <clears throat> but to season it like this, now the oils won't, because the oils have changed once you heat it up, and it won't make your gold float. This one that hasn't been heated yet, I just coated them with some vegetable oil to keep them from rusting any more than they are. They can be sanded down, any rust areas. Sand them down and then coat them with oil and they won't rust. But when you're ready to use them, you season them like that. We have a nicely seasoned pan. We're sitting out here by the fire. It is getting colder. So I had to take off my new fancy hat and put on my warmer hat. Beans are cooking and all oh, inside that cabin smells delish. Honey bacon baked beans. So um, we've got some ham steaks and I think we have two ham steaks, but I think we're just gonna cut a ham steak in half and have an egg and a ham steak and some uh, delicious beans as soon as they're ready. Probably gonna cook the ham steaks and the eggs maybe out here. Out here or? Yeah, why not? Yeah, probably out here. Why not? Out
got to move this to the side and get this heating. This is our makeshift dinner. We don't even have a spatula to put the eggs, so we'll see how this goes. It'll go good. <laughs> <laughs> Bet you never seen a fried egg flip with a plastic knife before. It's good, it's good. Yeah, not bad. Here we go. Organic. Boom. Wowzer, hot pans, hot pans. Simple. Everything's great. The ham's great. Eggs are great. Try the ham. But the beans are excellent. Mm-hmm. That's a two thumbs up camp meal there. Put a pound of bacon in anything, it's gonna be good. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> We're gonna eat this and we'll be back. Here we are. Those beans are great. Excellent. They're they're done, so I'm just gonna unplug them. We'll have them for breakfast. And it was an interesting day. Uh, you never know what the day is gonna bring. We found those pans and uh, we seasoned one up. Um, and everybody has their own way of doing it. Some people just blacken the thing until it turns purple. And that's fine, you can do that too, but it's really not as necessary. As long as you get the oils on it burnt off uh, and you're hot enough. Because if you get it too hot, you can uh, warp it. So that's about it, though. See these names going up the screen right here? Those are our members. And uh, they make all this possible uh, to keep us making videos out here and and the live streams we have and the giveaways are all because of our supporters, these people right here. And they're special, special people. So thank you very much to all of them. And uh, also, don't forget to check out the hitbee.com. Get yourself some honey. Make yourself some honey baked beans. Honey bacon baked beans. Delicious. And if you can't get enough of us, you can hit that join button, become a member, and you can be like all those people on the screen and support us so we can keep on making videos. Anything else we need to say? I think you've said it all. I've said it all. Till next time. Peace. Peace.